there is freedom. Yes, and there is deliverance. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for you being here today. Amen. 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 Look at your neighbor and say, I'm just glad to be here. I'm just glad to be here. Glad to be in the house of God today. I would rather be in the house of God than to be anywhere else today. Amen. I know we get to a time now where folk don't even want to be in church. Uh -huh. Amen. They, they would even come to church, come sit up in church, and don't want to be here. Yes. Yes. Help us, Lord. Help Never us. thought this day would come, but this day Help is here. Yes. But he who the Son has set free is free. Indeed. Is free. Indeed. Indeed. Amen. Yes. And so we just honor the very presence of God in this place on today. Yes. Thank yes. God for each and every one of you being here on today. Yes. We just really give God the praise, honor, and glory for you being here on today. Hallelujah. Tell us a word Thank you, from the Lord. Thank you, God. And we got your Bible. Will you turn with me to Genesis chapter 18? Get to stand with me for the reading of the word. Amen. Give honor to God who's here in my life and getting together in the church. Yes. Through. Our first lady, thank God for you being right now. Amen. To all of our elders, thank God for you and to the whole household of faith. Yes. Amen. Thank God for you being in the house on today. Amen. That is a word thank you, Jesus. from the Lord word. that is specially designed yes. just for you on today. Yes, and if you'll open up your hearts and be receptive of what God has to say, I guarantee you, you'll leave here uplifted. Yes. Yes. Charged and empowered by the yes. word of God. Yes. Genesis chapter 18, and look at verse 14. It says this, Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Uh -huh. I, 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 want, I want to draw from the, from the beginning part of this verse, Is anything too hard for God. Go and read the Ephesians right quick. Ephesians chapter 3. Let's look at verse 20. Ephesians 3 and 20 said, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Is there anything too hard for God? We're, we're, we're living in a time in which we must understand that the God that we serve now can do anything but fail. Man will fail, but we serve a God that cannot and will not fail us. We serve a supernatural God that when he speaks, things begin to happen. We serve a God that stepped out on nothing, got together something, and in three, six days made everything. When he speaks, things happen. And God said, let there be, it doesn't matter what it was when he spoke it, it came forth. Uh -huh. God created this world and everything that is in it, that includes you and I. Yes. And because he created us, he designed us to go through everything that comes against us. Yes, yes, Y'all praying for me. Amen. We must understand that there is nothing too hard for God. Amen. Our God specializes in things that seem to be impossible. Yeah. Can God? God uh, can. Yes, he can. Come here, Elijah. Elijah uh, 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 asked the question in 1 Kings chapter 18. How long are you going to be hoped between two opinions? Well, if God be God, then follow him. But if Baal be God, then follow Baal. The people then answered him. Then, then Elijah said unto them, let's put our God to the test. Uh, that's something that that's something to speak volume to people who don't mind putting their God to the test. Yes. That, that, that speaks volume about the God that you serve, that when you call on your God, your God will answer. Uh -huh. It speaks volume to 
about your God, that, that whenever you need your God, your God is right there. It speaks yeah. volumes about the God that, that when you find yourself in trouble, in difficult situations, that you are always depend on your God. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Eli uh, so Elijah asked them, and said to them, let's put our gods to the test. Uh -huh. Let each one of us take a bull and cut it into pieces and, and lay it up on some wood, but 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 don't put any fire under it yet. Yeah. And then we're both we're called unto our God. Yeah. And the one that answers by fire, uh -huh. let him be the true and living God. Yes. Then all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Mm. Touch your neighbor and say, is there anything too hard for God? Elijah was all by himself against the, the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of the of the bowl that ate at Jezebel's table. My God. It, it, Elijah told the prophets of Baal, call on the name of your God. So they started out early in the morning, yeah, yeah. crying out to their God Baal, saying, Oh Baal, hear us. At 7 a.m., there was no answer. At 8 a.m., there was no answer. At 9 a.m., there was no answer. Uh, at, at 10 and 11, there still was no answer. No return call from Baal. Baal still hadn't showed up. About noon, day, the prophets began to leap upon the altar that they had made, and they began to cry and cry out aloud. Yes. Elijah said unto the prophets, y'all might need to cry out just a little while longer. Uh -huh. And you might need to cry out just a little while loud. Maybe he's talking to somebody else and he don't hear your cry. Uh -huh. Or maybe he's gone to lunch. Or maybe he just took him a trip. The Bible says they began to cry out loud and they began to cut themselves oh with knives and sharp stones the blood began to gush out upon them. At about midday, somebody say midday. midday. They had no proper sign until it was time for the offering of the evening sacrifice. Mm. And yet, their God hadn't shown up. Mm. Neither had they heard from him. Uh -huh. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. but my God. But my God. Elijah said to the people, come near yeah. to me. Yeah. I want you to see this. Uh -huh. Elijah took 12 stones mm. and, he, uh, and they represented the 12 tribes of the son of Jacob. Mm. And he built an altar and he cut a bull yeah. into pieces and laid it upon the wood. Yeah. Then he told the people to fill up four barrels with water. Huh. And he poured it on the sacrifice. My God. Then My he God. told them to do it a second time. Uh -huh. Then he told them to do it a third time. Yes, and the Bible said that the water ran from the altar into the trenches that was made around the altar. Mm. Then Elijah, Elijah called upon the God of Abraham. Uh -huh. He called upon the God of Isaac and Jacob yeah. and said, let it be known this day. Uh -huh. Somebody say this day. Uh -huh. Let it be known this day uh -huh. that thou art God in Israel yeah. and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things mm. at thy word. Yes. Hear me, O oh Lord, hear me. Yes. Yes. Not for me because I know what you can do. Mm. Elijah said, I'm not asking you to do this for me yes. because you have proven yourself over to me over and over again. I'm not asking you to do it for me because I am convinced of who you are. Yes. But do it so that the people may know that thou art the Lord God yes. and that thou hast turned the heart back to you again. Uh -huh. The Bible said then. Yeah. Then yeah. means at that time. Yeah. Immediately or soon after. In Genesis chapter 18 and verse 14, the B part, the B part of the verse, God said unto Abraham, at the appointed time, I will return unto thee. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. the fire of the Lord failed. And consumed the burnt offering, yes. and the wood, uh, and the stones, mm. and the dust, mm. and licked up all the water that was in the trenches. Oh, the Bible says that when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, mm. and they said, "The Lord, He is the God." Uh -huh. You see, Elijah called.
go unto his God only one time. I, I don't know about you, but I serve a God that neither slumbers nor sleep. The God that I serve don't take any breaks. The God that I serve don't wear a hearing aid. The God that I serve don't have cataract problems. But the God that I serve, if you call him, he will answer. If you pay him, he will call you back. If you send him an email, he will get back to you. If you send him a text message, he will text you back. So he can do anything but fail. Touch your neighbor and say he can do anything. He can do anything. like about the God that I serve yeah. is that when he asks a question, uh -huh. he already knows the answer. Yeah. That when you ask him, he already knows yeah. the answer. Uh -huh. He asked Elijah, can, can these dry bones leave? Yeah. Yeah. He asked Jeremiah, is there no bomb in Gilead? Yeah. Yeah. He asked Moses, what is that you have in your head? Yeah. Yeah. He asked the lame man, will I be made whole? He asked Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Yeah. Yeah. He said to the crowd, who touched me? And he asked Malachi, will a man rob God? Then he asked Abraham, is there anything too hard for the Lord? I want to ask you the question this morning. Is there anything too hard for God? Based on what you have seen. Based on what you have experienced for yourself. Based on what you have heard from others, My is there God. anything yeah. too hard yeah. for the Lord? Yeah. I want to ask a question this morning, people yeah. of God. Yeah. Some of you might not be able to answer this question uh, because you might not have experienced what you need to experience from God. Uh -huh. So for those of you who know who God is, yeah. my question yeah. this morning is yeah. there anything too hard yeah. for God? Yeah. Look at this. Three things I want to point out real quickly, then I'm going to take my seat. Three things I want to point out, and then I'm going to take my seat. Point number one, what may seem impossible to you is possible to God. The Bible tells me that with God, all things are possible. Don't let the bigness.